such an important part in Oklahoma history. And tonight, as we celebrate Black History Month, we're highlighting one of the first Buffalo Soldiers, a man whose story you won't find in the history books. Chalati Clinton, born 1879, she passed 1937. Buried along the tree line at Beulah Land Cemetery in Langston, Oklahoma, an original Buffalo soldier. And Francis Clinton, 1842 to 1917. His story kept alive by his family, passed on through generations. It's immense pride just knowing uh, his story and the resilience. Francis Clinton served in the 10th Cavalry Regiment of the Buffalo Soldiers, one of the first. The group of black soldiers helped keep the peace and build infrastructure in Oklahoma before statehood. They could join the military to prove themselves, to prove their worth to the country, to prove they're just as brave and valiant as anyone here, to prove their worth as a man. Much of his family still lives in Oklahoma today, some following in his footsteps of service. My dad would be like, you know, your great, great, great grandfather was a Buffalo soldier. Yeah. Norman's deputy police chief, Ricky Jackson, and retired Oklahoma Army National Guard Captain Archie Birch. But it was Francis Clinton's great granddaughter who cemented his place in history. Really, they shaped the Western frontier. Archietta Birch James has been an educator for 50 years. I'm just so proud to be a part of his bloodline. She spent decades off and on traveling and researching her great grandfather. He fell off his horse, ruptured his side and continued fighting and wrote a manuscript of his life. Francis Clinton, a Buffalo soldier and American hero. They um, helped settle the West, really. At the Oklahoma History Center, there's a small display dedicated to the 10th Cavalry. They kept off the boomers. They would round them up all the time and take them back to Kansas. They helped protect native tribes, white settlers, and railroad workers, and helped build some of the first roads and forts, including what is now Fort Sill. They built uh, a lot of the structures. Some of them are even still there today. The Buffalo Soldiers were known for their commitment, courage, and hard work. Life in the late 1800s, a lot of times they had to trud in mud, was especially challenging in Oklahoma's extreme weather. Several of his toes were frostbitten. Eventually, Francis Clinton was honorably discharged from the Army. His family says he solidified his place in Oklahoma here at the Indian Meridian Monument in Langston. He was able to run in the Oklahoma land run and stake out land for our family. But just the big old trees, that tells me that tree was there when, when our great grandparents was here. It's land that's still in the family today, not far from Francis Clinton's final resting place in Langston, a place rich with Oklahoma's black history, headstones of the founders of the historic all black town, former slaves, and one of the first Buffalo soldiers. It does make me reflect every time I come out here and I see and I, and I stand here amongst the giants here. The life and legacy of Francis Clinton will never be forgotten. We need to know our history and for me it's important to pass that down to my daughters. His family making sure of that. As far as I'm concerned, he's legendary.